Okay, today we're going to do an experiment of carbon sequestration. And I'd like to begin by taking and creating some carbon dioxide in this soda bottle here. And I'm going to do the famous um, sodium bicarbonate vinegar volcano reaction that every kid loves, every kid should, should see and teachers could use later on to illustrate various principles of chemistry. So I have here about 100 plus milliliters of vinegar and a slightly excess amount of sodium bicarbonate, which is about 10 grams. I'm going to add the sodium bicarbonate to the vinegar, see what happens. Hope it doesn't overflow. Doesn't. It's a beautiful reaction. And the bubbles, of course, are carbon dioxide when the carbonic acid is formed. Uh, decompose. And I'm going to cover it just slightly. Now, I should have enough in there to fill the bottle with carbon dioxide. Now this reaction is actually endothermic. It cools slightly, but it's very spontaneous as you can see. And when you're talking about spontaneity and thermodynamics, this is a good reaction to use as an example. Generally, reactions are more spontaneous if they're exothermic, but the entropy change for the reaction is also important. This has a very positive entropy change. Well, let's not get into that right now. All right, so let's not, let that react for a while. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, um, now we're going to do the second part. Presumably we have this filled with carbon dioxide from the sodium bicarbonate vinegar volcano. And I got some uh, sodium hydroxide at the hardware store. It's by, I have a, an excess of the sodium hydroxide. I'm going to pour it in. Now, because you have an excess, when you clean this up, be careful with your hands. I'm going to cut, put the cap on real tight and dissolve the sodium hydroxide. We had pretty much an equal molar amount. Oh, it's working very good. Look at this, how spectacular that is. Uh, the, uh, the bottle is collapsing because it's so like, anyway, oh, I love it. I love it. This is just fantastic. And we have the contrast with the other bottle. And it's exothermic, you can feel the heat. Part of that is this heated solution of the sodium hydroxide. Woo! The kids will love this. The kids will love it. And then you can go through the, uh, the heat of reaction and all the thermodynamics of the reaction. Isn't that fantastic? I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's the um, carbon sequestration. The reaction is sodium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide yields sodium bicarbonate. So we're pulling the carbon dioxide out of the vapor phase, creating a partial vacuum, and the atmosphere is collapsing the soda bottle. Now do be careful because this, I did put a big excess. It wouldn't have been quite as dramatic if I didn't have as much of an excess um, of the sodium hydroxide. So this is basic, all right? So when you wash it out, you know, put gloves on and be careful not to get the sodium hydroxide on your fingers or your eyes, wear safety glasses. Okay, so uh, that's a, an example of carbon sequestration to 
in a dramatic way demonstrate carbon sequestration. And the crackling of the bottle, I think, is has a good dramatic effect. And uh, the students will really, it will get their attention. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Okay, well, this is the final result. It's amazing how this just collapsed completely down. And you could kind of leave it as a uh, little reminder of carbon sequestration in your classroom. And it's uh, quite dramatic. Again, be careful. This is still got sodium hydroxide. It's not real concentrated, but uh, be, be very careful with sodium hydroxide. All right, thank you again. I hope you can use this as a demonstration of carbon sequestration.